Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, press that subscribe button. So, recently I did a video not long ago about getting my veneers done and I've had so many questions about veneers on my Instagram. People DM me asking me the following questions. So, sit back, relax and enjoy. For some reason, my channel is not growing. It's been dead. Like, every video I post just be like, just drops down and I'm just like, I don't know what to do no more. But you know what, I'm not going to let that get to me, I'm still going to post the content I want to post and the content you want to see. So, just before I start, if you have any ideas of what I should do, if there's anything you want to watch, make sure you comment down below and enjoy this video guys. So the first question was, Sal, did it hurt? So when I had my teeth done at first, the pain wasn't that bad, I was like, what am I going to do Like, if it does hurt? Once the anaesthetic kicks in, you can hear like the drilling and everything happening. I'm in that chair getting my teeth done, the pain wasn't bad. The only thing I had, I can feel, was a bit of sensitivity like hot and cold. So, they start to drill your teeth down and when they drill your teeth down, your nerves are on show. Sometimes they can go with too much, well mine hasn't. But you can still feel that sensitivity like, ow, ooh, my teeth like it's cold. Like something was, and if the air con blows or if you're outside and you can feel it, you're like, oh. That was the most painful bit, but apart from that, pain I'd say, getting my teeth actually done, it's like 4 out of 10. How long did it take? The whole process. The whole process took me, I was there for like 6 days, so the first day you go to the dentist, have your x-ray. Second day you go, they file your teeth down, and then they get put your temporary on. Third day, fourth day, you're basically free to do whatever you want. They want your mouth to relax and basically calm down and any inflammatory, anything just to calm itself down. So on the fifth day, I went back and then they fit my veneers in, clean my teeth. And while I was done, it's really quick. Usually I'd say go there for a week if you want to get your teeth done, it's the best thing. So where did I go and would I recommend it? Of course, I went to Dental Centre Turkey in Antalya. They are really, really good, really professional. They pick you up from your hotel, take you to the clinic. They wait for you, have your checkups done. They have someone that speaks English there as well. So obviously it's in a, like a foreign country like Turkey. Everyone speaks Turkish there, but they do speak English as well. So it's easy to communicate. I think it's well clean, well professional. I'd recommend it to all my friends and family. All my friends have been there. My cousins have been there now, had their teeth done. They're really, really like happy with their results. You don't actually have to have veneers when you go there. You can get your wisdom tooth pulled out. You can have a veneer, like a uh, filling, cleaning. It's cheaper out there. Like for example, here in the UK, one tooth costs around 900 to 1,000 pounds. There it's between 200 to 250 pounds, which is not bad. And when I was looking at the price, I was like, oh, this is cheap compared to London like yeah their standards amazing and no one said to me oh my god your teeth look so fake they're not nice everyone said to me your teeth look amazing are you happy with them yes I am honestly so maintenance in my teeth maintenance is not hard just make sure you like I was gonna say flush your teeth but make sure you floss your teeth daily because you don't want to get any like food stuck in between your teeth, like all this dirt and all this stuff, you eat sugar and everything, and make sure you brush your teeth. So, you can use an electric toothbrush, I use a normal toothbrush, because I like to like control what I actually do. So I brush my teeth in the morning, and then I start to floss. Flossing's really easy, I use like a, a stick floss sometimes, or something where I can use a string. You can also use an air floss, so it's like a water floss machine. Um, that's what I use just to go through like any areas that I can't reach. It's perfect. You can just use that. I use that every day and then I feel like having veneers done, they might discolour a little bit but you can refresh them by going to the dentist, having them cleaned and having them polished which is great. I am happy with my teeth. I've never looked back. I don't look back on my old pictures and be like, oh my god, what have I done? I'm like, you know what? I've done this and I'm so happy. So maintenance is really, really easy. It's just brushing your teeth constantly. You're still going to have tooth problems it's normal, like my back tooth, my wisdom tooth, and the other two that I haven't had done, I had to have one pulled out yesterday because it was just decaying and stuff. But I haven't experienced any problems with my actual veneers. But if anything does happen, it's easy to sort out. For example, if you need a root canal, like in like four years later on your veneer, they just do like a tiny little hole through the back of the tooth. 
where you won't even see it and do a root canal and then cover it. No one's going to know you had it done, trust me. There's always ways around it and if you have problems they can sort it out for you and then it's easy maintaining veneers, not going to lie. Someone said how long does it last? I would say, people say to me like, um, having veneers done takes, like you can last up to 25 years or more depending on how you look after them. Have you had any problems or anything since having them? Are you still having sensitivity problems? No. So at first, I would say for the first like one to three months, you may experience some sensitivity. I noticed that one of my tooth was a bit sensitive, but that's normal because you had a lot of work done in your mouth. Your mouth has to get used to it. Your nerves have to get used to it. So I had a little bit of sensitivity, but now when I drink like hot drinks or cold drinks, my mouth's perfectly fine. You might get the odd sensitivity here and then, depending on how your mouth's feeling. If you have, for example, need to have a filling somewhere, that might affect your whole sensitivity in your mouth. But other than that, my veneers haven't caused me any problems. And the great thing is I adjusted these. So I like the way my teeth sit. So I had my canines more longer to give me more of that natural look. There's a Hollywood style. You can get so many different types of veneer styles you can get. I went for more of the natural one because I always like to have that natural finish. What colour did you go? I went BL1. This is like the bright that like Hollywood smile number one because I thought to myself what's the point of going BL2 when I could just go BL1 and if my teeth were to get this coloured in the future it's still going to look white enough so I thought let me just go for the safer option and just go for BL1. What happened to your original teeth? So my original tooth behind this has been filed down so what they do they prep it so they file it down say about like this and then they leave some space so where your cap can go on top like that. Can it fall out? Um, depending on what you're doing. If you're going to bite a sweet, you may break a tooth or something. But be careful. Make sure you maintain them. Look after them properly. Because you know what? Imagine if you lose one of the tooth. You're going to be like, oh God, I have one missing tooth. And it's going to make it obvious. It's going to make you feel sad. But most likely it's not going to happen. My teeth are strong. I've been eating ribs. Nothing's been happening to my teeth. But make sure you floss your teeth daily. Can you whiten veneers? No, you can't whiten veneers. But I've heard like if you use like peroxide and stuff, it will just refresh your teeth. Basically, just get rid of any stains if it does have a stain. But I haven't experienced that and I haven't actually tried. And I know you can't whiten your veneers because they're just one colour. So how much does it cost in total? Depending on how many you have, it could be probably like um, between 3,000, 4,000, probably four all of it like top and bottom um oh god my cousin went yes like last week and she had hers done i had mine eight months ago so how do you clean your teeth out i clean like normal brush my teeth every day use a floss use a water floss and then use a mouthwash if you really want to see how i actually maintain these perfectly then i'm going to create just an all routine video soon so keep watching guys if you have any questions make sure you let me know comment down below and also um follow me on instagram i post daily don't forget to subscribe guys and i'll see you soon love ya bye